Hi friends, welcome to Learn with Lucky's channel. I am Devanshi from Year 5 and I am studying Palampa, Malaysia. Today, in this video, I am going to tell you about the sun and phases of the moon. So, let's start our topic. The sun is a star, a huge ball of super hot gas. Its mass is so large that the pressure and heat at its core are high enough to start a process called nuclear fusion. This process releases huge amounts of light and heat. The sun's surface features are always changing with sunspots and active regions constantly on the move. The sun also experiences violent storms. These storms fling out huge clumps of superheated gas known as plasma into the space. The storms on the sun can also affect the earth. For example, on March 13, 1989, a solar storm caused a power back out storm in Quebec, Canada. It lasted for 9 hours. Now, I am going to ask you a question. Why do we need the sun? Well, I am going to tell you the answer. We need the sun to get vitamin D. If there is no sun, there will be no vitamin D for us. Vitamin D is good and important for our bones, skeletal system and immune system and any other part of our body. And also, it gives us minerals. Without the sun, we could not get minerals. Minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, which are very healthy and good for you. And now, I am giving you a warning. Even if you have sunglasses, do not look directly at the sun. Sometimes, you can also lose your vision. Now, I am going to tell you about the phases of the moon. So, let's start our topic. As the moon orbits around the earth, it spins slowly. This is why the same sides of the moon are always facing the earth. But when viewed from earth, it appears that the moon is changing shape. These apparent shapes changing is known as phases. We can only see the sunlit side of the moon. In different places in the moon's orbit around the earth, different amounts of the moon's sunlit side are facing the earth. Now, I'm going to tell you about the moon changing shapes in order. So, let's start. The first one we get is waxing crescent. Number two, first quarter. Number three, waning gibbous. Number four, full moon. And then, again, we get waning gibbous. Next one, we get third quarter. And the seventh one, we get waxing, waxing crescent again. And then, the last one, number eight, is what we get. It's a new moon. And this is the sunlight. So today's 